Hello. We're back. I changed the setup a little bit. Um, you can't tell because we used artificial lighting entirely last night. Um, but the table used to be over that way. Now it's over here, which the only downside is it kind of creates this narrow hallway. Plus side is I can see the chat easier without having to run the PlayStation. So we are saving electricity. Eh, eh, I don't know how to give a thumbs up on this. Eh, eh. All right. I guess I could just turn on the face cam, except the face cam is currently aimed at the back of my head. Hmm. Also, we're not here to see my face right now. We're here to see these beautiful cards. At least that's my opinion of it. Uh, but yeah, so we I got the chat mostly running. Sadly, my normal chat recognizer is... Uh, my chat monitor, I should say, is being a little finicky. Uh, but yeah, we're continuing from where we left off yesterday. Um, and that I have the rest of this box here, if I tilt this that way, eh, of, uh, Curse the Frozen Casket. And then we also have, uh, I would like today to see if we can get through, uh, one of the other three boxes of Forcible we have. Um, and then I, I rethought it instead of uploading, uh, instead of turning this into one big video, I'm just going to upload them about the same time and put them in, all into a playlist figure that's easiest also i found out what was the deal with that red thing in this box it's to turn this into a nifty card collection box because that is about the width of a force of will card's height and that's actually very nice uh so i like that i like that that i could still use that box it's a very nice box the vingulf engage knights box uh but yeah so we have our colors lined up in rugby order, which is very similar, but distinct from Wuburg order. And we have uh, extra doodads that came from the other box. And I have a trash can here this time. I'm not going to show you the trash can because you all should know what a trash can looks like. Uh, but that's so I can throw away the packs easier. Huh, we are prepared this time. And it is warm. Uh, California City, where we are, um, is... A very warm place because we're in the middle of the Mojave Desert and even with the fan running it gets warm and um, part of that is that the recording office does not have the best uh, ventilation to begin with uh, which is its own issue okay so one QR code if anyone needs it I guess but system doesn't work there was a thing in Pokemon about using QR codes, I thought. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Our common foil is another Dreams of Flight. Sure. Uh, Spirit of Fire. Um, oh, she's um, Torbrand. She's a 4-4 four, four for 3, which I'm noticing in Forcible is just normal. Um, and if a fire chant, so if an instant or sorcery would deal damage, it deals one or 200 points more damage. That's neat. Uh, another creature from Chaos. Guide to the Ancient Ice Wall. When you play a Water Chanter edition, target resident or cannot be blocked until end of turn. That's actually really nice. And putting it on a 600, 1,000, so putting it on a 3-5 is also very nice. Uh, that is a card that if that were in Magic, I would be very, very happy. We have Cloning Magic. Uh, quick cast, so an instant for one and a green. Uh, quick cast, target resonator gets whenever you play an activated ability of this card, copy that ability. You may choose new targets for that ability until end of turn. Torrent, draw a card. So, if it's your second spell, you get to draw a card. It's a cantrip late game, which is not bad. It's not bad. Oh, my balance is a little high. There we go. Let's see here. Gate of the Silver Key, an addition, so an enchantment, essentially. You may pay one less to play Judgment Abilities, sure. Uh, black, Black 2, banish this card, your opponent discards a card. Eh, I don't like that second ability as much. Um, that first ability is fairly helpful. I, I guess you do that because after you've Judgmented, unless you have an Imperishable Ruler, you can't Judgment again. Uh, Zero's Familiar. 
who I swear I've seen Zero's Familiar before. He might have been reprinted in some other sets. Uh, flying, your J-Ruler gains Barrier. If uh, car card you... Okay, so Hexproof. Hexproof is Barrier. Uh, this card gets plus 300, plus 300, as long as you control Zero. Master of the Magic Saber. Sure. It's a beast. Because Bird isn't a type in this game. I don't know. Uh, our rare... Ooh, I see a secret rare. Our rare is another Priest of Darkness. Sure. Now, that looks neat. So that's in Jeskai colors. Uh, Lumia. Saint of World Awakening. Resonator Shift. Human. I don't know what Shift means. When this card enters your battlefield or shifts... Okay. Your life becomes 4,000. Put up to one target chant from your graveyard into your hand. So gain 20 life, return an instant or sorcery to your hand on a 5-5. Five, five. Although, very steep, 7, red, white, blue. Uh, this holds the first multicolor card we've pulled. And then we got a darkness stone, which it's the cool darkness stone at the very least. We're going to see what shift does in uh, Force of Will. Let's see what the... You know what works better is if I don't spell it, shoft. Because I wrote shoft. That is not what this is. Um, okay, shifts. Uh, you, they can be summoned like normal, sure. They can be used to... Okay. They, so they're, they are a resonator, just generally. But shift cards can be played with either side face up from the... Either side? Oh! Hello! A card on the field with a face-up shift ability printed on it can be flipped by paying that shift ability at any time that you can play a spell chant. So, sorcery speed, I can flip her. Only the side with the printed shift cost can be flipped. So, I was looking at this side, which is already okay, so I can hard cast her for 10 mana, or 10 will. Or I could pay 2 and a blue for a 0-5 that can't attack or block. She's automatic, automatically pacifismed. Um, but if I tap her and tap a light resonator and tap a fire resonator and tap another water resonator, I can shift her as well. So I can, I have two different ways to shift her. So if I already had out, say, this bird and that explorer and that spirit of fire. Wow, is my auto white balancer is like going nuts. I don't know why. That's fine. It's my arm specifically at a resting angle. I don't know. So anyway, I could just put her out like this and then tap her and three other critters to flip her over to this side. Which, I guess if I could do... Alright, so that first shift cost is clearly the I'm losing, but I have six mana. That second one is the I'm going to add insult to injury. Ooh, I really like her. I really like her. She's awesome. I am down for that card right now. I'm happy with that. Something I found out, uh, that Millennia of Ages set that we opened last time had, or not Millennia of Ages, uh, Return of the Dragon Emperor has a three-faced card in it, and I didn't pull one, which makes me sad. But, I mean, what's cooler than a J, than a ruler who judgments, and then the J-ruler judgments, and you get to open up the card into a double-sized card? Uh, that's something I wish Magic c could do. I know Duel Masters does it. You have the technology, wizards. Another QR code if you need it, I guess. Some people scan those for Pokemon, so... Watching this in the future, you can pause it and scan it. Uh, Melt to Nothing is our foil, so quick cast for one and a blue blue. Um, J Resonators you control, so J Rulers and Resonators. You control, gain tap, return target resonator your opponent controls to its owner's hand. Oh, they have tap unsummon. Jeez, that's great. Uh, another guide, another cloning magic, storytelling bard. Single white for a 1-1, one, one, or for a 300, 300, so essentially a 1-1. One, one. Uh, tap, you gain 200 life. That's, um, 
core medic? I feel like that's core medic, but I'm probably way off. Uh, and then we have Tiny Reconnaissance Dragon, or Tiny Reconnaissance Drake. Uh, he is a single red for a 200-200, so... But he makes all of your resonators that cost five or more cost one generic less. That's very fun. Uh, pumpkin Carriage. One in a white-white for a 200-1200, so for a 1-6. Tap. Target Fairy Tail gets plus 200, plus 1200 until end of turn. That's actually not too shabby. A Fairy Tail deck might be a lot of fun to build. Altea, Nation of Dark Magic. Uh, six and a blue blue for an addition, so that's expensive. But your first addition each turn costs zero. That's honestly really cool. That is really, really cool. Uh, Tiger Lily, Tribal Princess. Okay, so fairy tales are red white. Uh, Tiger Lily, 500, 400 for our rare. We got another secret rare, by the way. Woo! Uh,. But she's a fairy tale. So one in a blue, oh, sorry, one in a red, not one in a blue. Learn your colors, Robert, uh, for a 500 400. So a little better than a 2 2. This card deal with this card would deal damage to a J resonator. Deal double that damage. So she's a 2 2, but she's a 4 4 against creatures and commanders. Because uh, that's one of the big things with Force of Will, is your commander is its own creature type. Uh, it's very similar to back in the day where it was Summon Legend. All right, and then we have... Uh, oh, first off, we have a foil... Oh, we have a foil dual stone, Magic Stone of Dark Depth, which, actually, let's compare that those arts real quick. Because, th yeah, this is a different art. Neat! So this is the old art, which is a black pearl surrounded by water, which is a really cool way to do a magic uh, black blue stone sure but this one so much more flavorful is this weird aqueous gem looks like an opal surrounded by tentacles Ooh, ooh, and it's a textured foil you can't really see it well on camera but it's got this cool uh like checkered texturing that kind of looks like it was grabbed by an octopus tentacle and on the one hand, I am terrified of octopi, but on the other hand, that is really fucking cool. Oh man, that is like the mm, mm, that is the kind of stone I want more of. Enough of this, like, oh look, here's a plain ruby. Eh, no, stop it. Even the moxin have more flavor than that to them. Oh, we are blurry again. Consarn it. Come on. Oh, you know what? Is it the screwdriver? Nope. Let's, uh, it's the only problem I'm noticing with these unboxing videos, is that if I move things too much, there we go, uh, I have to mess with the focus. Whoops. All right, and then we have this gal, uh, Rinka, second daughter of the Makage. Uh, she is a vampire, she's 600, 600, so a 3, 3 for black and a black. You'll notice the power level is a little bit higher here, but that's because you're dealing with twice as much life, essentially. It's like you're playing... It's like if the whole of magic was built for Commander, except color identity didn't matter. Well, not as much. Uh, whenever this card is dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter, or plus 100, plus 100 counter on it. Sure. This card has precision, as long as it has a plus 100, plus 100 counter on it. Remove a plus 100, plus 100 counter to give it flying until end of turn. That's really neat. I love cards that play with plus one, plus one counters. They're just so fun. They're just so fun. I think they're fun. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Alrighty. And just double checking the chat real quick. We're all good. Okay. Uh, next up, next pack. I thought I grabbed another pack. I guess it didn't. I guess I imagined grabbing another pack. I'm digging this set. I'm loving the force mechanic. Um, again, I really want to make that blue-white force archetype when I do my cube. 
Uh, but I might do just do a battle box and make some of the uh, some blue white. Uh, I make a blue white force deck, just because rolling dice is so much fun. It's how D and D works. Uh, now, also the thing is, we might get a god pack. God packs are named for the Theros god pack, but they are foils all the way through. This is not one. Uh, we've got a, fi a foil tiny reconnaissance drake. I'll take that. We got another uh, storytelling bard. We got another reconnaissance drake. Resonance of Madness. This is a new one. So, oh, uh, it's Bone Splinters. It is a hundred percent Bone Splinters. Resonance of Madness is Bone Splinters. Payable act. Kill a thing. Kill a thing. Kill one of your things. Kill one of their things. Mermaid of Neverland. Uh, two and a blue for a fairy tale. We know mermaids are a type. Why is it just fairy tale here? Make it a fairy tale mermaid. This card enters your field. Draw a card. So it's a uh, three, three for three that can trips. That passes the vanilla test. Sure. Uh, Charlotte's water transformation magic. I don't know who Charlotte is, but she looks cool. Um, so quick cast remnant. So it's an instant with flashback. Uh, remnant is flashback, but it's always the same cost. Uh, target resonator loses all abilities and becomes a 400, 400 bear until end of turn. I feel there's a fairy tale I'm missing. Oh yeah, there, by the way, there's your QR code. If you need it. There we go. Uh, ancient Heartfelt Fire. So this one is a single red for a quick cast Ancient Magic. So if, if Ancient Magic counts. Uh, choose one target. Uh, card deals 400 damage to a creature. Or put three mana counters on your J-Ruler. Because uh, will is what you spend in this game. So mana is a type of counter, which is basically an experience counter. Captain Hook, the pirate. Three and a blue blue for a fairy tale. <clears throat> sure. When this card enters your field, choose one. Put up to two target special magic stones on top of their owner's magic stone decks in any order. Or turn up to two target resonator stone owner's hands. So either bounce two lands, bounce two critters. Sure, I like bounces. Bounces are fun. Uh, he was our rare. We have a secret rare again. And we have a foil fire magic stone, which the fire magic stone looks kind of cool in that it's exploding. But I don't know if it's cool enough. To, it's foil, so I'll put it in the foil pile. Um, anyway, Demon of the Crest, Namblot. He's a seven luminaries demon. I'm guessing the seven luminaries are something to do with the six sages. Uh, red, red for a 500, 500. Swiftness. When this card enters the field, deals 400 damage to target J Resonator. If your J Ruler is Mars, Fortune Teller of the Firestar, or Mars, Dark Commander of Fire. This is why rulers need to have the name subtyping Light Planeswalkers, in my opinion. At end of turn, return this card to its owner's hand. So he comes out, he attacks, he goes back to your hand. Sure. And if you have uh, Mars as your J ruler, he works. That I find those cards to be a little parasitic. They make sense in like a Planeswalker deck. Um, so like if they were in a beginner deck, they would make sense. But in a booster, they feel wrong to me. Um, it does give me an idea. Like if you were playing a Hearthstone style game of cards that do more if you're in the right class, but they're generic. Uh, got one of those. Neat. Wee. Wee. Alright. Got a foil nameless one. Sure. Oh, wait, no. Nameless one we haven't seen. Nameless mist. Uh, black chant. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose a non resonator card. They discard that card. You get a plus one, plus one counter. This is very, very similar to a duress, and I love it because I love duress. Especially that pirate art duress. Uh, favorable winds, search your magic stone deck for up to two non-special uh, non wind magic stones, put them onto the field. So, two basic. Get, go get two basic forests. Sure. For four mana. Alright. Uh, escape from crisis. Quick cast. Recovered, targeted, attacked, or blocking resonator. So, only if they're on the defensive side. Prevent the damage that would be dealt this turn. Okay. Sure. 
So it's uh, one of those fog your own dude cards. Uh, Combat Wizard of Altea. Red and a... No, just a red for a 300-200, so for a 2-1. And it's the field. Put a mana counter on your ruler. Remove a mana counter from your ruler. This guy gets haste. So he has a built-in way to do his thing. We got another Nameless Mist. We got Flying Cloud. It's the Flying Nimbus. Because the Flying Nimbus came from Journey to the West. Yeah. Uh, so that's, our, that's an uncommon. Um, it's an addition. As long as this card is not bestowed to a card and your J Ruler is a win type, your J Ruler gains plus 200, plus 200 in flying. As long as bestowed Resonator is win type, it gets plus 200, plus 200 in flying. Bestow for a green. Sure. Uh, Oni Governor. Four and a black for an 1100, 1100. So five for a five five essentially tap kill another creature destroy target creature with cost three or less that is not too shabby whoop i'm gonna try to pull him up to the camera more here because i realize that's helpful eh. there we go i like some of the art on these i also love how the little wheel the wheel really helps with uh keeping mana costs consistent uh pandora the hope weaving queen i think we've pulled her before Yes, we have. Uh, we got a fire magic stone, uh, which I'll just put in the normal magic stone deck because it is not foil. And we got a princess of the dragon palace, Otohime. One in a black black for a 700, 800 fairy tale. If a resonator would be put into a graveyard from your opponent's field, remove it from the game instead. So exile anything that goes to the graveyard. Uh, you may put a card called the Black Treasure Box into your hand. Or you may bestow it from your hand to the target resonator. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Uh, she's actually a foil secret rare, so she goes straight to the foil pile. No, foil pile. Do what you need to do. Come on. There we go. And we pop another back. Open up. There we go. Oh, QR code for those who need it. Uh, yeah, from this angle, the camera can actually do more, which is nice. Come on. Uh, there we go. So our first foil, our common foil, protector of the forest, it's that... Uh, Six, six for five, bear. Sure. Uh, another creature of chaos. Another guide to the wall. Another cloning magic. Another bard. Another sacred radiant soul. Another Jubai. Another bird of paradise. Fire stone. Oh. Oh, we got a... This is neat. This is very neat. It's like a silver foiling effect on a ruler. So we got a feasting ruler, as opposed to all those feasting creatures or resonators we got uh, in the battle or in the Millennia of Ages box. Uh, so she's one of the six sages and an elf. So on this side, feasting uh, six sage of wind ruler. Uh, Green Green 3 for her judgment. Uh, so that's what it costs to flip her. Energize Green. So as long as you're not going first, you get a coin that gives you a green. So Force Will does something very similar to Hearthstone. Whenever you play your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one elf token. And then if we flip her... Oh, well, first, let me just show you this cool black and white art with the gold text. This is like... Oh, I love it. I don't quite know what's going on with her hips there uh, behind the text box. I, I think she dislocated her spine, but maybe that's just how the elf do. And then on the back here, feasting master mages of holy wind. Other elves get plus 400, plus 400. She is an 800, 800. Whenever you play your second card each turn, create two elves. 
Oh, oh God, I love this foiling. I love this like cool black and white foil. Oh, mm, you can see the camera in it. Neat. Uh, but oh man, I do love this. Uh, I didn't bring any sleeves in here. Okay, well, Mikel is off camera. She, she found a sleeve for me. Do you want to look at it? I'm going to send her the card to look at it first. Um, and I was going to ask if she wanted to go to the other room and grab that big box of black BCW sleeves. Because I forgot to bring them into the room because I'm a professional. Uh... It's so sparkly, but like, just look at those effects. But also so sparkly. It's like she starts on ruler and then you energize her to go to J ruler. But like, or sorry, you judgment her. So you pay that judgment cost, you flip her. And then every time you cast multiple spells in the control color, you get extra elves. Yeah. Heck yes, yes. Not bad. That's not bad at all. She, mm, 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 mm. So... Got her in a sleeve. It's gonna put her there, where she'll be safe. <laughs> Off camera. She's she, she safe. See, they, see, there she is. Actually, I'll put her here. That that's where the specialists of cards have gone. Um. No, she went back to her Sudoku video. No problem. All right. Ah, oh, such a good card. Such a good card. Such a good ruler. Because uh, that's the kind of thing, is rulers all have these, like, eminence-like abilities. Uh, and I kind of love it, because if every commander had it, it wouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, there we go. Get your QR code today. Great. Let's see what we got. We have a foil magic-born vegetation. We saw one of those yesterday. Uh, it's the storage Lanawar elves. Uh, Resonance of Madness, Mermaid of Neverland, Favorable Lens, Escape from Crisis, Radiant Soul, Xiao Bay, Heavenly Gust, uh, Instant, Green Green. Uh, oh no, we saw this yesterday. Uh, either destroy an enchantment or destroy all enchantments if it's the second card you've played. Which, if you have Feast Thing, means you also get an Elf. Uh, so one big thing is that Force of Will... Instead of trying to focus purely on the on balancing the three psychotypes of Tommy, Jimmy, and uh, Tommy, Timmy, Johnny, and Spike, there we go. Uh, Force of Will is like, let's just go all in on the Timmys and the Johnnies. Uh, and then they wonder what. Oh, okay. So first, we're gonna look at this one. Uh, Eternal Boy Peter Pan. I was wondering if we'd pull one of him. So two and a white for a five hundred. 600 with flying that's not bad at all when this card enters your field search your deck for a fairy tale resonator with total cost one put it into your field then shuffle your deck so he can go search for tinkerbell or wendy but also we got another magic stone of scorched spales and this one oh my goodness that looks so cool it looks like looks like apocalypse from the dc comics oh, i love it all right you're gonna go in the foil pile uh, I honestly should be sleeving the foil pile as I go. I don't have my sleeves with me. Uh, I don't want to break Twitch rules by leaving the camera. Oh no. Uh, I'm probably going to pause between boxes here. And before we get into the, uh, I think, Seven Kings of the Lands is what we're going to open next. Uh, I'm, I'll go get some sleeves. That seems fair. Uh, okay. QR code if you need it. Throw away that wrapper. Uh, safeguard of the Light Palace. He's a human. Two and a white for a 700 700. Uh, will never enter your field. Destroy target edition. Oh, yeah, we've seen this guy. He uh, He's the one with butt breathing. Got another Drake. Got another Madness. 
I put a blue card on the green, and I put a green card on the black, and I put some green cards on the black, so I was going too fast. Let that be a lesson to you, children. Don't go too fast. You, you, it's, it's, it's bad. Uh, got another mermaid. Got another favorable wins. Oh, this one's new. Urashima Taro. He is a 500-700 fairy tale for black black. Uh, when he enters your field, destroy target damaged resonator. So, if you can, if a creature already took damage, you can just kill it. Uh, when this card is put in your graveyard from your field, search your deck for a card named the Black Treasure Box. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. So a lot of the black deck seems to be built around the Black Treasure Box, uh, or at least two cards are. Okay, then we have Pandora's Mark of Hope. It's a single white for an addition with bestow. Bestowed Resonator gets plus 400, plus 400. When the Bestowed Resonator is put into a graveyard, Force 1, you gain that much. You gain 200 times the life you got from the Force die. Sure, but get back on there. Uh, our rare is Eternal Recurrence. Uh, black, black, and a th uh, three and a black, black. To It's a damnation. It's a damnation for one more mana. Which actually ain't bad. We've got a water magic stone. Sure. And uh, we got another ruler. We got Charlotte. I was wondering about Charlotte. Let's look at Charlotte. So Charlotte's ruler side. Charlotte, determined girl. Judgments for one and a blue. Energize gives you a blue. Pay a blue, discard a card. Uh, tap somebody. She's a tap down. Not quite as exciting as Feasting. But then her flip side is Charlotte, Mage of the Sacred Spirit. 400, 1200. She cannot be attacked. When this card enters the field, draw X cards, where X is 5 minus the number of cards in your hand. So immediately fill up your hand into 5 cards. Whenever you draw a card, you gain 100 life. And for blue and a 1, discard a card, return target resonator to its owner's hand. So she can turn any card into an unsummon, essentially. Uh, come on. But focus. There we go. I don't know, I think she looks neat. I'm like a little J-Ruler pile there. And then I will definitely sleep up those J-Rulers when we are done. Uh, it's good to have another blue ruler. I have a lot of rulers. I don't think I have a Charlotte Determined Girl yet. Uh, and I definitely don't have that feast thing. QR code. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. Glorious Summon Soldier. One in a white for a 600-600. Whenever another J Resonator is the f your field, that creature gets plus 200, plus 200. So, I mean, that's not a bad foil at all. That's a common, which is nice. It's welcome to Popper. What do we got here? Com another Combat Wizard. Another Nameless Mist. Uh, Stargazing Fortune Teller. 100-500 for a single blue. Resonate your human. Blue, blue, one. Tap, draw, card... Just, sure, just give us draw a card on a common. Why not? Magic Stone Analysis. One in a green for a sorcery. Search your Magic Stone deck for a non-special Magic Stone. Put it onto the field. Shuffle your deck. Sure, more ramp. Uh, another Urashima. Another Pandora's Magic Box of Hope. Another Prince of Darkness. Hello! You are a secret rare elf. Oh, and I just peeked underneath. We got a fancier Magic Stone of Heaven's Rift. So that's the uh, Badlands. And actually, let's we did it with the last one. Let's compare. Uh, well, we didn't compare it with the last one. We compared it with the one before that. So the one before that. Nope. Yep. This one. Uh, actually, I like the other Scorch Bales, too. Both Scorch Bales are fine. Um, but this one... This Heaven's Rift is just a black stone with white light around it. And this one is also a black stone with white light around it. They're they they the same. Uh, I do particularly like the one here with no border better than the one with the orange border. But eh, let's look at this gal. 
So one and a green for a 300-600 with flash on an elf. Nice. When this card enters the field, prevent all damage that would be dealt to target J Resonator this turn. If you played more than uh, two or more cards this turn, I'm noticing a theme in the green and blue. And then tap, produce one ma one uh, will of any color or any attribute, uh, though she cannot, noticing that, she can't make moon. Because moon's like a qualifier. Now let's do this again. There we go. I really wish it would just stay in focus better. Oh well. Uh, one moment. Uh, Mikkel, could you go get me a pack of sleeves? Sorry to bother you. I know you're enjoying your Sudoku videos. It is. She's been watching, um, what's his name? A channel called Cracking the Cryptic. Crap, uh, Cracking the Cryptic, not... Not Crapping the Cricket, which is what I almost said. Um, <laughs> cracking the Cryptic, which helps you learn how to play Sudoku better. Here we go. Probably should stop throwing these away. I might have a game that uses them, and I'm not sure. Eh. Eh. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Tiger Charge, which is actually starring Tiger Lily wearing Tiger Claws. Uh, single red for an instant. Uh, it's a Sure Strike. Oh, yeah, I think we had this one already. We already had the Sure Strike. Let me double check that. Eh. Not the box I was asking for, but I'll take it. Yeah, that was the first one we opened. Okay. Wrap her away. Let's sleeve up our other J-Ruler here before we put them in the... They're going to go into the binder later. Um, and we will start sleeving up those foil dual lands soon. Uh, we've got another Summon Soldier. Uh, introspective Jutsu. One red red for a quick cast. Target Resonator gets plus 1,000, plus 0 until end of turn. That feels right. An encounter with Cthulhu, Charlotte's Protector, so blue, blue for a 500-500. Uh, when this card's put in your graveyard from your hand, draw a card. Oh yeah, we, we've run into him. He's uh, discard protection. Shackles of Ice, as long as this card is not bestowed to a card, players can activate ruler's abilities. Bestowed Resonator's controller cannot play its activated abilities. Yeah, that's right, this is the shutdown of ruler or shutdown of creature. Uh, Ox King, yeah, he's the guy that gets stronger. Uh, he, he's like Sengir Vampire, but way better. He just shows up, fights a guy as a 1500-1500. I think it's 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Uh, another Captain Hook. Ooh, who's who are you? Azathoth, Hunter of Reality. Secret Rare, Human Cthulhu. Uh, limit 6, this card enters the field... With six limit counters on it. Whenever this card attacks or blocks, remove a limit counter from it. This card will be destroyed. You may remove a limit counter from it. If you do, remove all damage from it. When this card attacks or blocks, destroy target J Resonator. Woo! At the end of turn, if there are no limit counters on this card, destroy it. If you do, it deals 2,000 damage to you. So, he's a 2,000-2,000 for six and a black black. So, a 10-10 a for eight mana, essentially that is just invulnerable to damage six times. And then... And uh, with... And then whenever it attacks, just destroy a creature. But if it dies, you take half your life in damage. Or half your starting life. Woof. Oh, and uh, Gusting Skies. So let's compare those. This one is big old spiky boy on top of some hills. That's fair. And what is old Gusting Skies? Old Gusting Skies is hiding. I know you're in here. There it is. That one was a Yellowstone with vines. Sure, I guess. I, I do. I see the point of both. Gusting Skies does make me think more this. 
this stone feels more meh. feels more right for its name. All right, that goes on top of our foil pile. And we're just chilling. We're just relaxing. Um, opening cards. That's all we're here for today. There we go. Let's okay. toss those. QR code. Great. Uh, Servant of the Makage. Oh yeah, we've, we've run into him before. He, uh, at his battlefield, you get a plus one, plus one. If your opponent has a special magic stone, he gives two plus one, plus ones. Uh, another wise man, another safeguard. Stalking tiger in the woods. Uh, two and a red for an 800, 600 with first strike, so a four, three with first strike. Yeah, all right, that's fair. I mean, not every card needs to knock it out of the park. Mad Oni has Bloodlust. He must attack if able. So a single black for a 500-300. Sure. That seems reasonable. Uh, another Sha Wu Jing. Hey, a black treasure box. We've heard so much about you. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. This is the one that uh, you p pays two. You have to bestow it for it to do anything. Hey, another Pandora. Another Firestone. Cool. And a foil uh, Bird of Paradise, which, again, is just Squadron Hawk. I just want to put it up there. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of leeway into this here box. And I know a lot of people are immediately thinking, no, boxes are meant to draft. Well, you're right. Um, but in Magic, that's much more appropriate. And I'm building a cube out of these. I might build two cubes, actually. I have enough. Um, so it, they will be for draft. They will be played with. This isn't cracking purely for value. All right, so we have a Foil Spirit of Fire. Another Escape the Crisis. Another Combat Wizard. Another Nameless Mist. Another Fortune Teller. Another Shackles of Ice. Another Ox King. Another Rising from the Depths. Another Light Stone. And a foil, Sorceress of Heavenly Wind, Melfi. Sure, okay. Those are all cards, and there's your QR code. We've had all those cards before. I think we've hit that point. Uh, Force of Will sets are much smaller than Magic sets. Uh, magic sets are normally like almost 300 cards. Uh, Force of Will sets are like 100. This one's 100. Uh, foil Resonance of Madness. Magic Stone Analysis. Glorious Summon. Jutsu, Encounter with Cthulhu, Shu Wujang, Black Box, Wendy, Windstone, Foil, Rinka, again, is this, no, we got a normal Rinka the first time, and then QR code. That's the thing I'm noticing with these, is as we go through the box, we go faster, because we were running into a lot of the same cards that we've already seen. Ugh. Come on. Also, that their plastic is slightly tougher than Magic's plastic. Jesus. Here we go. Summoning from Memoria. This is all new. It's foil new. Oh, well, first off, QR code. Yeah. Uh, summoning from Memoria. Chant. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Oh, no, we've seen this. This is uh, Anticipate. It's essentially Anticipate. Uh, no, not Anticipate. Ponder. It's Ponder. Melt to nothing. Uh, that's the instant that lets you turn all your creatures into tap unsummon. Which, I mean, sure. Or no. Yeah, all of them. Elf of the Gusty Hill. Which is a 2-2 two, two for one elf. God dang it, I put the box on green again. Start stacking these cards. Uh, Dreams Flight again. Sure. Another Tiger Charge. Oh, what's this? Neverland, the Parallel World. One in a white white for an addition. At the beginning of your turn, remove the top card of your deck from the game. If it's a Fairy Tale Resonator, you may play it this turn. Sure. Impulsive Draw on white. 
uh, Rabbit of the Aquamoon. One for a 200-400, so one for a 1-2. Banish this card, draw a card, discard a card. So kill it to loot? Or is that rummage? I can never get loot and rummage straight. Flame Dragon of Altea. Red, red. For a 1,200-1,200, you pay one more to play this card for each card in your hand. So if you're Hellbent, you have a 6-6 six, six for two. That is real nice. Who boy. Uh, another Water Stone and a Foil Captain Hook. Sure. And it's a textured foil, which is also nice. Okay. Uh, I do like that dragon. That feels like something the Rakdos would have. Because um, it's hellbent without being hellbent. It's incremental hellbent? So let's see here. Hellbent is no cards in your hand. Heckbent is one or less. Um, what's less than heckbent? Purgatory bent? Uh, in line at a Walmart bent? And then above, I guess at the very top, you're, like, sitting at a Nordstrom's waiting for somebody to try on shoes bent. And then above that's, like, library bent. I'm just here. I don't know where you where you draw the line when you're not bent anymore. Uh, another servant. Another moon were rabbit. We haven't seen her in a while. Um, but when she enters the field, you bounce a dude. Or, sorry, you bounce an addition. Uh, another magical plant. Uh, that's not green. I defaulted to magic order. Uh, another f Tinkerbell. She it says Fairy of Neverland. We f we know it's Tinkerbell. Um, another Fairy Tale Alexandria. Another Amonsville. Another Bird of Paradise. Another Light Magic Stone. Ooh, and a Foil Wendy. Okay, and a QR code. Because that's what you're here for. You're here for the QR codes, I assume. Not not to hang out with me. No, you're here to hang out with me. Who am I kidding? Alrighty. And let's check this real quick. One moment. Yeah, alright. Sure. Messing with the chat window real fast just so I can see things easier. And of course, I've got my headphones on so I can hear... Uh, our alert systems. So that's what you have alerts for. And we're yeah, we're just hanging out. It's all good. Uh, do, 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 opening this. There's QR code for a point system that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, we got another foil bear. We got so many foil bears. Creature from chaos. Wall. Cloning magic. Bard. I double check a thing. Have I been putting bards over here? No, I've caught myself, apparently. Another Alexandria. Another Amundsville. Ooh, here we go. New creature. New rare. Kriya, Musician of Wind. 500, 700. Two and a green. Elf. When this card enters your field, search your deck for an elf with total cost one. Reveal it. Put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. If you played two or more cards this turn, put that Resonator onto the field instead. Rest a recovered elf you control. Target elf J Resonator gets plus 100, plus 100. That is, overall, very nice. And look how cute she is! Though this does uh, add to my, one of my few problems with Force of Oil. We keep sending small children and pregnant women into battle in this game, and I'm not here for it. We've got another Darkness Stone... And, ooh, Zero's Magic Light. A foil rare, sure. Quick cast for white, white. Uh, if your J ruler is zero, six Sage of Light, or zero, Master of the Magic Saber, you may pay uh, a single white less to cast this card. So if you own one of those as your J ruler, it's only a white. Remove target attacking or blocking resonator from the game. Just exile an attacking card. Just get out of here with your attacks. Hey, we're through a row. Fantastic. And we're going to keep going because I have people who promised they would be here. Though one of them's getting their hair done. 
because Florida reopened already, and I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. Ooh. Ooh, I see we have a double-sided card. Might be a ruler. It might be a shift. All right, we got a foil uh, Ice Explorer, Charlotte's Protector. Throw that away. I tore the QR code by accident. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, QR code people. Another wise man, another safeguard, another tiger, another neverland, another rabbit. An invitation to disaster. <laughs> Pictures taken moments before disaster. Uh, whoop. One in a red red. Choose one. This card deals 800 to target resonator. If th this card has awakened, it deals 2,000 instead. Or this card deals 800 to your opponent. If this card was awakened, it deals 2,000 instead. So one in a red red to deal 800, six in a red red to deal 2,000. So it's essentially kicker five. But hey, I like it. Another darkness stone. Ooh, another ruler. Yay. Great Sky Sage Sun Wukong. The Monkey King born from stone. So he on this side, he's the Monkey King born from stone. Judgment is green, green, too. Uh, energize is green. Pay a green. Search your deck for a card named Flying Cloud. Reveal it, put it in your hand. Shuffle your library. We have a Flying Cloud in there. So that part looks really cool. Yeah. And then we flip him. A thousand, a thousand J Ruler myth. Uh, mm, mm, I'm still getting used to this. All right. Zero. You may put Flying Cloud on the field. On energy field. Search your deck for... Sha Wu Jing and Zhu Bai Zhe, reveal them, put them into your hand. That's not too shit. So that that explains why they want him so badly. This is their ruler, which I guess makes sense. That's Journey to the West for you. I want to put him in like white green specifically so we can have uh, Sanzo show up. And fix my focus. Fix my focus. Fix the focus. Fix the focus. Every time I try to show off a card, the focus goes out of whack. <laughs> yep, yep, there, there, we, there we go. We're good. But hey, three rulers in a box so far. For a normal box, that's actually really good. Uh, my last box with rulers, I only had two. So having a third one, great. Great? That feels right. I don't know. Eh. Also, before we open, just look how nice the packs look. So much art going on. It's not just like, here's a monster on front of a field, like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh do. Though I guess in that case, less is more. Okay, we got a foil Magic Stone Analysis. We got another Mad Oni. Another Melt to Nothing. Another Elf of the Gusty Hill. More like Elf of the Busty Hill, am I right? Ha 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 ha. No, I'm not. Because that would be wrong. Also, I love how the elves in Force of Will aren't like, oh, we live in the trees. They're just like, no, we're just people with pointy ears. Done. Uh, another Alexandria, another Almond Swill. Hey, another Kriya. I'll take another Kriya. <gasps> A magic stone of blasting waves. Okay, so blasting waves looks like this looks badass. I really love that. Let's look at normal blasting waves. Normal blasting waves. Whack. It's, a, it's just a chunk of jade. This blasting waves. Cool as shit. Uh, and that one I'm actually going to put in the magic stone pile. Because that one wasn't foil. Which feels wrong. All the other ones have been foil. Uh, and then we have uh, a foil Oni governor. Sure. And the QR code. Which, again, the app is broken. Don't try to install it. Just use those QR codes on, like... I swear, one of the Pokemon games has a thing where you scan a QR code with your DS camera. Like, is it is it X? Did X do that? If you get, like, special QR code Pokemon? Or, like, this QR code gave you a potion? I don't know. Here's another one. And we got a foil storyteller. We got another tiger charge, another Makage servant, another were rabbit, 
Another vegetable. Gate of the Silver Key. This one looks new. No, we've had this. This is the one that makes your judgment cheaper. Another zero is familiar. Uh, another Princess of the Dragon Palace. Sure. Uh, another Gusting Skies. And this one's also not foil. And a foil zero familiar. Which, yay foil. Sure. Okay, that was an easy pack. I'm, I'm really hoping we can pull... I think there's five rulers in this set. I'm not 100%. We've gotten three. There might be more. I want more rulers. I'm a little mad I didn't get that cool triple-faced ruler. He's like a $20 card, which isn't a lot when you compare it to like Magic or Pokemon. But he's still really cool. I had to itch. One second. All right. Here we go. Uh, QR code. QR code. QR code. Yeah. QR code. Hmm? 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 There we go. Alright, uh, Foil Stalking Tiger. Another Tinkerbell. Another Dragon Knight. Another Zealot. Another Memoria Summon. Another Charlotte Turns Things to Bears. Another Ancient Heartfelt Fire. Ooh, hello! Ancient Automaton. This card gets plus 200, plus 200 for each edition you control. So she's a bear that gets stronger if you are in an enchantment artifact deck. Sure. And another Stone of Heaven's Rift. And a Foil Shackles of Ice. I feel like all of our good foils were in the first row. And the second row is being a little bit more lackluster. But we did get that Sun Wukong. So, I'm not going to be too torn up. Eh, come on. Come on. You can open. I believe in you. There we go. Uh, QR code. Nice. Foil Madoni. Protector Forest. Oh, here we go. Retelling Stories. This one seems new. Put any number of fairy tale resonators from your graveyard on top of your deck in any order. Draw a card for one and a white. Not too bad. Very tribal focused. Another Spirit of Fire. Another Creature from Chaos. Another Flying Cloud. Another Oni Governor. Uh, another Zero's Magic Light. A Magic Stone of Scorch Bales. And a Sacred Radiant Soul. Sure. Next. I do like that Ancient Automaton. She looks cool. QR code. Great. Eh. 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 There we go. I, I hate that I have to trick it. Alright. Uh, mermaid in foil. Sure. Uh, Stargaze and Fortune Teller. Stone Analysis. Soldier. Jutsu. Pumpkin. Uh, Altea, Nation of Dark Magics. Edition. Uh, each turn you may pay... Oh, yeah, yeah. We did this one. Uh, your first sorcery each turn is a freebie. Uh, another Flame Dragon. I'll take him. Another Windstone. And another Foil Birds of Paradise. Which, again, is just Squadron Hawk. Unlike Rock Egg, which is literally Rock Egg. Like, there's a Rook Egg here and a Rook Egg in Magic, and they are identical cards. Like, not the art, but they do the same thing of, it's a Defender, and when it dies, you get a Bird token. They're very much the same card. Alright. QR code. Great. Okay. Uh, foil stories. Kitty cat. Oni. Melt. Elf. Tarot. Pandora's box. Damnation. Firestone. Foil tiger lily. Yeah, all right, I'll take a foil tiger lily. All right, we're done with that row. So I told you, the, the force of will boxes, the sets are so small that once you get towards the end, uh, once you get about halfway through, they go super fast. Foil protector, memoria, bear, 
stories, spirit, Neverland, moon, moon rabbit, disaster, windstone, foil heavenly gust. QR code. Great. Make my little camera's aperture work over time. You probably noticed that with the uh, preset box, even. Well, since there were duplicates, we could just do that. QR code. Great. Okay. Foil Escape. Dragonite. Zealot. Summon. Bear. Gate. Owl. Damnation. Fire. Another Foil Rising. Cool. Uh, but yeah, there, there's so many duplicates when you have such a small set that this just happens. Like, what's our next set? Our next one we're doing is Seven Kings of the Seven Lands, which there's only 105 in this set. It's going to be the same thing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean you're going to get dupes of the commons a lot more. Because a Magic's common slot is as big as Force of Will's entire set. Uh, which can be interesting, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, right. Hmm? There we go. Alright. Uh, foil Dragon Rider. Sure. Retelling Stories. Spirit of Fire. Creature for Chaos. Wall Dude. Charlotte Makes Bears, Fire, Rising from Depths, Waterstone, Another Foil, Melfi. Me okay, uh, my friend Sam has tried to explain the lore that goes on here. And if you thought magic lore was hard to follow sometimes, you don't want to get started on Force of Will lore. Because I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. My understanding is that, like, Zero and Feasting are, like, in a relationship, but the writers will never 100% admit to it, but they're raising a child together. And I don't know. That seems like the kind of thing two lesbians would do, raise a daughter. Um, and then you have, like... Melfi has something to do with them. And I know whatever I say is going to be wrong. But, like... Yeah. My gut's telling me she's a homewrecker. And th that also feels wrong in my heart. I don't know. Or she's like one of their exes. I don't even. Alright. Uh, foil encounter. Cloning. Bard. Tiny dragon. Madness. Flying cloud. Oni governor. Wendy. Lightstone. Here we go. New card. Secret Rare, Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, 300, 400 for Green Green. When this card's put into a graveyard from your field, put the top card of your Magic Stone deck onto the field rested. So it just immediate. Oh, she died. I get a stone. She gets plus 400, plus 300. As long as you control five or more Magic Stones. She has Swiftness, First Strike, and Precision. As long as you control seven or more Magic Stones. So you play her early game, she's Ramp. You play her mid game, she's a... 700, 700, so a 3-3, three, three, which isn't too shabby for 2 mana. But, you play her late game. She is a 700, 700, Swiftness, First Strike, Precision. Also known as a, you don't get creatures anymore. What? You don't get them. Your creatures, they don't exist. They don't love you. They're gone now. There we go. And QR code. But, eh, I leaned back. That was my mistake. Mm. There you go. Scan that thing. Scan it. Scan it to get all your cool stuff. Cool. All right. Have we been slightly askew this whole time? I'm so sorry. Uh, for foil fortune teller. Like, I should go find Sam... Uh, mermaid, Favorable Winds, Escape from Crisis. I should find Sam and at, ask them, Hey, explain Force of Will lore to me again. 
because I have a feeling that it, it's very, you know what it feels like? It feels like Kingdom Hearts with no Disney properties. It's like Kingdom Hearts if you never have Donald or Goofy. Uh, all right, Combat Wizard, Pumpkin Carriage, another Altea, another Invitation to Disaster. Oh, hey! Oh, this is not the Cheshire Cat they had to reprint. Um, that was the promo. Hey, we got a Cheshire Cat. So, uh, one in a blue for a 600-600. And I, I can't read these off the camera, so I gotta read this in hand. This card has flying for strike swiftness and or precision. As long as there are cards with that ability in any removed area that were removed by this card. So if this card kills a flyer, he gains flying. He kills the first striker, he gets first strike. He kills swiftness, he gets swiftness. He kills precision, he gets swiftness. Uh, precision. And that includes exile. Uh, this card gains plus 100, plus 100 for each card in any removed area that was removed by this card. Zero. Choose one. Play this ability only once per turn. Remove a card in your hand from the game or put a card from a removed area that was removed by this card into your hand. Oh, so now that's neat. That's neat. So I can pay zero and banish a card with one of these four abilities from my hand. Or uh, not banish, exile. And now, bam, they're in. Uh, this card gets plus one, plus one, and that. That's, that's neat. I kind of like that Cheshire Cat. Uh, yeah. That is not the uh, one they had to reprint. From what I can tell, the one they had to reprint had, like, this weird uh, wearing, like, pantyhose thing going on. I don't know. Also, basically every character in Force of Will is a girl. A girl or a monster. Those are your options. Girl, old man, monster. Or Gil al -Hamaret. I guess Gil al -Hamaret is the real monster. That's true wisdom. Knowing that Gil al -Hamaret is not the name of the monster, but he is the monster. Alright, uh, fo foil cloning magic. Another nameless mist. Fortune teller. Stone analysis. Glorious. Uh, Radiant soul. Shubai. Kriya. Darkness. Ooh! Hoo hoo hoo! Hello, hello! Another Lumia. I will take another Lumia. Thank you. In fact, let me sleeve our two Lumias. Lumia's fun. Like, I want to go over onto the Beacon of Creation Discord. Because I hang out with those guys. And I was on Beacon of Creation this week. Which was neat. Uh, and, like, talk about these shift cards with them. Because that is just a neat way to do Transform. It feels like Transform and Morph had a baby. Um, but also, there's just some fun designs in here. Like, that, that Cheshire Cat. Um, the idea that you have a card that is, like, blue blue on one side and Jeskai on the other. They're, they're just neat ideas. We're almost done with uh, this box. Come on, there's your QR code, everybody. Uh, foil Fairy, Jutsu, Meet Cthulhu, Charlotte's Friendo, Old Elf, Edgy Vampire, Pandora's Box, another Dragon Princess, another Dark Depth Zone, but this one's not foil, and a foil Pandora's Box, I guess. Sure. Three packs left for Curse of the Frozen Casket. Before that, I should drink some of this here water. Ah, much better. And uh, get myself a little anise candy. Keep my throat moist. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. We have another QR code. Because why wouldn't we? It's been in all of these. This is from when they had the app, and the app doesn't exist anymore. Um, foil Combat Wizard. Safeguard. Did I put a foil in? Yes. Okay. Kitty Cat. Oni. Melt. Ice. Ox King. Ooh, another Automaton. Ooh, much cooler looking version of Hearth's Core. Look at that. The two stones are like melding together. I love it. 
and a uh, foil Charlotte turns everything to bears. QR code, of course. Uh, foil Zealot. Another Elf. Another Dreams of Flight. Another Tiger Charge. Another Servant of the Makage. Another Shaw. Another Black Treasure Box. Another Zero's Light. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh, I really love this version of Stone of Light Vapors. That looks really cool. Because, like, I didn't do this for Hearth's Fire. Hold up. Like, both Hearth's Fires are cool in their own way. Actually, no, I'll, I'll hold that up there a bit more. Let you admire them. They're both cool in their own way. But the Light Vapors here, while both cool in their own way, and both kind of accompanying what they are, I think the one with the seashell really brings it home. Uh, and then what we got here? We got a foil Ancient Heartfelt Fire. Come on, ruler. Or a god pack. I will take a god pack. Please give me a god pack. All foils all the way through. Would be great. Alright, so we got a QR code. I know, so anticlimactic. Uh, we got a foil rabbit. We got a non-foil rabbit. We got our vegetation. We got another Tinkerbell. We got another Dragon Rider. We got another Neverland. Another rabbit. Tiger Lily. Ooh. This version of Magic Stone of Deep Wood. Really cool looking. Um, let's find the other Deep Wood. And then giggle and say, Haha, wood. Uh, here we go. This is another one of Old Stone Whack. New Stone. Amazing. Mm, love it. And then a foil jube. Sure. Okay. So what we're going to do, just because I don't want to have to sort right now. Though. This isn't quite liking me as much as I would hope. Here we go. We're going to take the fires. All right, here. And they're going to fall sideways because this box doesn't work that well for that. Hmm. Nope. That part's cool. I do like the little box topper art. I know this isn't the best idea, but for now, we're going to move this box out of the way. At the very least, try to keep these kind of stacked. I'm just going to stack them up there. And we'll do all new stacks for the new box. So I'm putting these on top of the Vingolf box from yesterday. There we go. And we're going to have our special pile here. Our foils are going to go up there. What I should do, since I'm here, is let's leave the Vingolf foils we got. Or at least the Vingolf rulers. And we can do all of them. We'll do all of them. So we got Julius Caesar. Hannibal Barca. Alexander the Great. Minamoto. Vlad Tepes. And actually, what I am going to do is let's sleeve the Vingolfs, definitely. I do plan on sleeping all of these eventually. I just don't have the time right now. I shouldn't say all. 
you don't sleep every common you own. That'd be ridiculous. But anything that goes in a deck, you would sleeve. Anything that goes in a cube, you would sleeve. Uh, and so for right now, I'm going to go through these and just pull out all of the um, foil rares and secret rares. So Cheshire Cat's getting Red Riding Hood, Melty, Rising, Heavenly Gust, Tiger Lily, Bird's Paradise. Zero Light, Blendy, Cat and Hook, uh, Rinka, Melty again, Bird of Paradise, the Magic Stones, another, Mel I think I just put a normal Secret Rare Melty in there, Magic Stone, probably should sleep the Secret Rares too. Princess, Dark Depth, Priest, Glorious, Rising, Pandora, there we go. So these other foils I'm going to push to the side. Um, yeah, yeah, I should probably find those secret rares that I didn't put in there. Hold up. And then we'll sleeve all these, and then we'll start on the next box. Not seeing any secret rares. Of course, not every box, ha not every pack has a secret rare. That's what makes them secret rare. They replace a common sometimes. Oh, there's one. A little uh, demon, Damblot. All right. That's it for fire. Because when we get to Vingolf, there are no rarities. Vingolf is Vingolf. Alright, going through water. Looks like we might not have any water secret rares. We have a lot of rares, but no secrets. There are no secrets here. Right, let's check when. I know when does. I know we have a Melfi or two in here. Uh, search, search, search. Fairly certain a Melfi or two slipped out and ended up in here. Uh, apparently, no. Apparently no, it was good, and I put all the Melfies in the special sleeve these pile. Let's check black. Or darkness, you know what I mean. What we're looking for is on the bottom. Oh, there we go, Azathoth. There's a little code. It's either C, U, R, S, R, or J, R. Oh, and there's another Rinka. And that code tells us the rarity in all the SRs and JRs and all the foils, or at least all the foils that are rare or higher, are going to get sleeved. I personally, personally, I personally am of the opinion that SRs should just be foiled by default. There we go, Peter Pan. But uh, I can see why having a foil version and a non-foil version is good for the health of a game. On the other hand, I don't care. I just want all of them to be to feel special. There we go. And then they have that cool monochrome foiling. Like they gave Feast Thing. And it's like, why not do that more? Do that in other games. That looks awesome. How could you not do awesome things like that? 
you can already have a game that takes the best parts of Magic and Commander and combines them with the best parts of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hearthstone to make something that's its own beast. And then uh, don't advertise it at all and make a couple bad business decisions here and there and make everyone hate your game. Like, for example, making it that I have almost the full set by opening a single box. Or create new mechanics just for one card. The three-faced ruler uh, in Gil Alhameret is a really cool idea. Give us more three-faced cards. Who wouldn't want three-faced cards? Two-faced cards are already super neat. And it's, not, it's a ruler. It's not a card that goes in your deck. So you don't need to worry about uh, people knowing what it is, because it's your ruler. They know what it is. It starts in your ruler zone. It's like a commander starting in your command zone. So you can't hide your commander from people. If I'm playing commander, and somebody sees my Zakama deck, and they see Zakama just hanging out there, they know I have a big deck full of stompy dinosaurs. That's the point of that deck. I can't hide her. Well, in this game, there's an entire type that just stays in the command zone, essentially. So why not just let me do that? Just let them do things. Oh, but what about extra information? Doesn't matter. Uh, Forcible is a bit more willing to do crazy things. Now, some I think were dumb. I think, like, the hidden arts was a big misstep. Don't do that. Uh, that's a silly idea. Uh, hidden arts were like this idea that there were some rulers that when you played them enough, or when the third set came out, got an errata that added to their text. But that text isn't on the card. So they gave you stickers to put on the card. It's like, that is a really dumb idea. Don't, don't do that thing. Alrighty, so I'm going to put our specialty pile uh, to the side now, because we're opening up a whole new box. And that whole new box is the Seven Kings of the Lands. And this, I want to say, is Alice Cluster. So this is before Lapis Cluster, which is what we just opened. So no force cards for us. As much as I like them. And I need some help opening that box. So. Let's use this here screwdriver. Thank you, uh, screwdriver. Yeah, this is the first set of Alice Cluster. So this will have entirely different mechanics than the last box we opened. And also the box design is incredibly different and also mildly damaged, oof. Well, I guess that's why I got it for a steal. Okay, and hey, look, uh, another QR code for the thing that doesn't work no more. So these are going to be all new cards. Well, we start really strong there, don't we? All right, so we have uh, Familiar of Primogenitor, which is pay red. Banish it for another red. So he's a he's a two one for one. You can banish it to give a card plus four hundred plus zero. Sure. Dark purge. Target creature gets minus six hundred minus six hundred as an instant for one and a black. Okay. Soul hunt. Each player banishes a resonator. Then each player discards a card. All right, that's just mean. Protection of the Seraph. Added Resonator cannot be attacked or targeted by spells. Oh, so this creature gets, like, Hexproof and he can't be attacked. Neat. Guardian of the Forest. Gets plus 200, plus 200 until end of turn. Play this ability only once per turn. Hey, these are our first edition boosters. That's neat. Serto, the Blazing Volcano. Players cannot gain life. Neat. When a Resonator is put into a graveyard from a field, 
this card deals 100 damage to each player. Okay. Uh, we're in the uncommons now. We have Dignified Seraph. Uh, two and a white light for an 800-800 angel. With flying. That's not too shabby. Merlin, the Wizard of Distress. He seems like he's in distress. He's a zombie. They killed Merlin. Uh, stealth. When an opponent discards a card while you control a Darkness Magic Stone, when this card's in your chance standby area, you can play it without paying its cost when its stealth conditions are met. So it's like a trap. Okay. Um, right, because the standby area, which we would put here, is like a, I don't want this in my hand, so I'm going to put it face down like in Yu-Gi-Oh. When this card enters your field from a chance standby area, target resonator your, your opponent controls get minus 700, minus 700. So you can basically kill a thing, and then you have a 600, 600 to deal with it. Then a foil dark purge. Sure. Hello. We got another ruler. First pack in. I feel amazing. Uh, Rizard, the Undead Lord. J activate, black, black. He has no energize. Uh, black, black, put the top card, uh, put the top two cards of your deck into your graveyard. And then if we activate him, he becomes Rizard, the Desecrating Vampire. He's imperishable. When this card enters your field, you may put up two cards from your hand into your chant standby area face down. This card gets plus 200, plus 200 for each card in your chant standby area. So he synergizes with Merlin there. And he has a God's Art. So God's Arts are activated abilities you can only use once per game. Um, March of the Undead, black, black, and a four. Remove any number of resonators in your graveyard from the game. For each card removed this way, each player banishes a resonator and discards a card. He's a 500, 500. All right. So we got a neat... J Resonator to play with. I'll show you a J Ruler to play with. I'm going to just sleeve him up and go. <laughs> that was exciting. I'm excited by that. Eh. This pack refuses to open. Am I just weak? No, it is the packaging who is wrong. Now, I bought a grab bag once of forcible cards, and so I have a lot of these in that grab bag. So we have Little Angel of Armala. 300-300 Angel with Flying for one. Banisher to gain 300 life. Sure. Herald of the Undead Lord. Stealth, if your ruler is Rizard the Undead Lord. Hey. So, I can just play her for free from standby if he's my ruler. That's fun. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Because you can only activate chants from standby unless they have an ability that says otherwise, huh? All right. Uh, Blessing of Yggdrasil, which is identical to the Magic Stone analysis card. Plane Cat, it's a 500-400 for two will with First Strike, sure. First Strike is identical to what it is in Magic. Order of the Sacred Tech Quest, Rest Target Resonator, Resonators you control get plus 400, plus 400, sure. Hey, we got our first Void in a whole box. Special Armor, single, single will. To add it to a resonator. Destroy this card. It's totem armor. It's totem armor. Neat. Uh, underground Dragar. Resonator Zombie. Stealth. You have a Darkness Stone and a resonator you control is put into a graveyard. Sure. Uh, 700, 700 for one and a black black. Okay. When this card enters your field from the chance standby area. Destroy target resonator your opponent controls that dealt damage this turn. So it's also a weaker murder. I like him. Juku, the Sacred Beast. 
He's one of the four sacred beasts. He's the vermilion bird. He's a 400-400 with haste. When your battlefield, it deals 200 damage to target resonator for each beast, uh, sacred beast you control. Sure. Uh, Hunter of Souls. Resonator Reaper. Whenever a resonator is put into a graveyard from your uh, opponent's field, this card deals 200 damage to your opponent and you gain 200 life. Oh, I like him. And Well, I think we're doing pretty good on pulling rulers today, you guys. Second pack in, and now I jinx it, uh, our second ruler. Which, her foiling is actually coming off a little bit. Looking at this, and that's not great. Or, that might be that the inside of the... Did the inside of the packaging come off on her? Ah, uh, that's not good. This side looks amazing. So on this side, she has activate for a blue-blue. And for a blue-blue, you could put a water resonator with a cost of two or less from your hand to the field. So you can flash in things, essentially, uh, as long as she's not tapped. When this card enters your field, put the top card of your magic stone deck into your magic stone area. Sure. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to this card during your turn. Also sure. This card gets plus 100, plus 100 for each card in your hand. Neat. Chain of Love as her god art. Blue, blue, two. Gain control of target resonator. Oh, so she's also an agent of treachery. I think I already have a Valentina. Let me check. Big old Force of Will folder. Let's see, so red, blue. Yep, I have this exact Valentina already. I also have the evil Valentina from the other set. Like, I knew I already had a Caesar, but that's fine. Um, actually, now I want to see who else did I already have out of who we got today. Um, I apparently already had the Monkey King. But again, that's fine. Um, did I already have... Uh, Rizard? I did not. Rizard's new. Rizard is all new. I'm, oh, wait. No, he's not. He's right there. I'm a liar. Uh, I definitely didn't have Feasting yet. Her, I know for a fact. I did not have. Uh, she's in green. Why did I go past? Yeah. So I didn't have. I did have Feasting, but I didn't have the cool silver version. That's fine. I like the cool silver version. And uh, who else did I already have? Uh, who's the other ruler we opened? We opened Feast Thing? Oh, Charlotte. Let's check Charlotte. Uh, I'm not seeing Charlotte. So Charlotte was all new. Which explains why I didn't know who the hell she was. So why do I have... Oh no, that's why I have two Alicia's. That makes sense. Never mind. Okay. And then I have these basic rulers. Uh, because you have basic rulers in this game. They added them for people who needed rulers. Uh. <clears throat> so she's one of the seven kings. And Rizard's one of the seven kings. I wonder if we'll get another one of the seven kings. It'd be neat. I'll go for it. We're going to find out the Seven Kings of the Lands, like there was a ruler in every pack or something. I'm getting excited for nothing. Feels like something I'd do. But honestly, there should be a ruler in every pack. The game requires rulers and stones to work. Okay, well, just looking. No, there's no ruler in this pack. I was wrong. But, yeah, the, the game requires rulers and stones to work. There should be basic rulers in every pack. Flame King Shout. Uh, deals 400 damage to each resonator your opponent controls. You may put a fire resonator with total cost 3 or less from your hand. It gains haste. Sure. Or swiftness. Little angel. Branch of Yggdrasil. Have we not pulled a blue yet? I guess we pulled her. Um, add to a resonator. Give it plus 0, plus 400. Sure. Wingman of Armala. He has flying. You could tap him to give flying. 300, 600 for 2. Fear of battle. Creature can't block. 
Uh, red, red to move what creature it's on. Sure. Protective barrier. It, uh, it's a focused fog for a single white. There's another Surto. Invigoration of the Winged Lord. Resonators you control gain flying until end of turn. At the end of this turn, recover all resonators you control. Or, look at the top card of your main deck. You may put a light resonator with total cost four or less from among them into your field. Okay, those are two very good things to put on a modular spell. And hey, a Firestone, which again should be in every dang pack. Ooh, hello. This is one of those fancy golden foils that I love so much. Uh, Jean Wu, the Sacred Beast. So we have another Sacred Beast here. And this one is extra special. He's a 700-500. No, 500-700 for one in a blue. When this card enters your field, return target resonator to its owner's hand. If the total cost is less than or equal to the number of four Sacred Beasts you control, sure. Whenever this card blocks, prevent the next damage it would be dealt until end of turn. Okay. You're going into the special pile there, bud. Uh, something I am going to look up, though. Just because it feels like something I should look up. Uh, here we go. So one is, who are the seven kings? So I'm pulling them up. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. or what, what cards are there in Seven Kings, I should say. Uh, oh, this window needs to be made bigger. So we have, here are the rulers we can look for. Uh, we have Arla. We have Faria. It, oh, I'm looking at the whole block, aren't I? No. I'm not. We're good. So, with the, ooh, there are a lot more rulers in this set than I thought. Okay. One, two. I was expecting four. Uh, Melgis. Uh, Valentina, who we already saw. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to look up here. Arla, Hegemon of the Sky. Sure, she's going to pop up on TCG Player. Uh, Faria, Ruler of the God Sword. Melgis, the one charmed by the Demon Sword. Pulling them up on TCG player. Uh, da, 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 da. That's the promo version. That's not who I want. I want the normal version. Here we go. We have Valentina, Ruler of Paradise, work to four. Um, Precia, Commander of the Sacred Beasts. Sure. Grizzard there, who... That would make sense. Yep. Uh, Machina, the Mechanical Emperor. Alice Valkyrie of Fairy Tales. Alice Saint of Healing. Uh, who else do we have? That's it. Okay. So let's look these up real quick. Because these are the ones we want to get. And 
then we have uh, two, two, two. Checking, checking, checking. Why is it giving me Amazon instead of PCG player? That feels wrong. There we go. Uh, so we have Precia. We have Machina. Okay. We have Alice the Valkyrie. We have Alice the Saint. Again, no idea what the lore is here. But do these have... Are these what I think they are? Yeah, okay. So this is the weird one. Is there are two versions of Alice Girl in the Looking Glass. But the backside is different. Which is really neat. We want the one that turns into the Valkyrie. Because the Valkyrie one is the one that's worth money. Not that I plan on selling them, but eh. I also already have one of the other one. And then we have Faria, the Sacred Queen, which she has two different arts. One's more realistic. Uh, yeah, there's some neat stuff. There's some neat stuff. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for neat stuff. If you're excited for neat stuff, I don't know, say it in the chat. Put it in the comments. Follow us on Twitch. I don't know. There's stuff to do. Uh, this stream's going long. That's fine. We're opening two whole boxes. It should go long. Here, have another QR code. Hmm. Okay, so we have uh, Alice's Little Guardian. Uh... One for a 200, 200 soldier, which we can kill it to um, protect somebody. Winding Mender, it's a cute little penguin robot. Sure. Who's going to say no to the cute penguin robot? Not me. He could do what he wants. Can I adjust my dang focus? Come on. There we go. Uh, you could tap him to give another machine plus one, plus one. Sure. Heat Gaze. We finally have a blue common. Um, added Resonator gets... When, as your opponent plays a solar ability targeting it, she must choose this card as one of its targets. Okay. Give Wings. It's a plus one, plus one in flying, essentially. Another Order. Another Special Armor. Urali, the Dark Eye of Blindness. Who looks like Entrapta. Um, blue and a two for a Gorgon. 600, 500 Gorgon. Uh, when she has the battlefield, rest target resonator, it doesn't recover. So she's a Frost Lynx. Neat, with water breathing. Okay. Sassel, the Ancient Forest. This is a field enchantment. Beasts and four sacred beasts you control get plus 200, plus 200. Whenever resonator is put into a graveyard from your field, you may pay... Green, green, one. If you do, draw a card. Sure. Celestial Wing Seraph. Three and a white, white for a 1,000, 1,000. So three and a white, white for a 5-5. Five, five. With flying, when this card enters the field, you may search your main deck for an angel with total cost four or less. Put it onto the field. Whenever this card attacks, you gain 300 for each angel you control. I like that. Clockwork Soldiers. They have precision. It was This is an old target attack set. Um, and it has metal breathing, but if you do that, you have to banish it at the end of your turn. Uh, banish is send to your graveyard. Sure, I'll take it. Will you take it? I'll take it. Another pack. That's hard to open. Why are these packs hard to open? Because they are. Come on. There we go. QR code. Uh, Shadow Flame has Remnant deal 
500 damage to a resonator for one in a red. Do it twice. Power supply team. They look like weird, creepy battery sharks. Vanish it to recover. Okay. Soul Haunt. Blessing of the Future Zeal. Dragoon of Serto. It's a 500 500 knight with target attack. Slightly better bear. A Funk, the Phantom Beast. When you enter your field, target resonator gets plus 200, plus 200. He's a 3 3 for 2. Sure. There's a Dragar again. Ooh, what are you? You are a very fancy looking. You're Regalia, okay. So, zero cost Regalia. Deep blue, the Phantom Board. Blue, produce red or green. Two and a tap. Search your main deck for a Soldier Resonator with total cost one. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. If your Resonator is any of the Alice's, you may put it into your field instead. Then shuffle your deck. It's got another card that's this. Create red, blue, or green. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's neat. Hey, hey, Windstone. All right. What are you? Cinderella, Valkyrie of Glass. So 200, 800 fairy tale for a blue, blue. Very fancy foiling. She's a secret rare, so she gets a sleeve. Uh, when you enter your field, put a glass counter on her. Um, she gets plus 600, plus 600, as long as she has a glass counter. Sorry, plus 600, plus zero. Whenever this card deals damage, remove a glass counter from it. Blue, blue, put it back in her hand. Ooh, I like her. I like her. Um, though, I just heard the doorbell ring. That means I have things I gotta go do. Um, even though it pains me to leave all this out. We will do another unboxing stream a little later, because I gotta get going for a thing. It's been almost two hours. But hey, we got through the Curse of the Frozen Casket. We got through Vingolf 1. We're gonna get the rest of the way through this. This will just get added to the playlist. It'll be fine. Hope you all have a great day. If you like what you see, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I know everyone says it. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Follow on Twitch. If you want to support us, subscribe on Twitch. Support us on Patreon. We can do more box openings. We can do more video game streams. I do plan on doing a video game stream later today as well. Uh, and there's also some magic streams planned, which will be very, very good. And my face might be in them. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you all later. Hope you all have a great day.